Hello and welcome to the second tier and this is our team of the month for November. It's been another crazy month here in the second tier. Only had four games for each team in the division, but still plenty of standout performances for us to discuss right here. So let's dive right into it with our first position, which unsurprisingly is the goalkeeper. Brad Collins of Coventry City is our goalkeeper for this team of the month. He's been outstanding since he came into the team. Ben Wilson made a few mistakes and Mark Robbins had to make a change. Brad Collins has come in, kept three clean sheets and been a superb shot stopper in that time. Been a key man over the last month. He's going to be key for this mini revival Mark Robbins team has got to go through to, to get back up that table. Now, standing summer purchase, he's proving it now. Our right back is Darnell Furlong of West Brom. It's been an excellent month for West Brom, winning three from four in November. And Darnell Furlong has been key to that. They've only conceded three goals this month and has been brilliant at the back. Furlong's also chipped in with a hugely important goal from their win against Ipswich. Deft header from a corner. And he's been someone who's really stood out during the Albion's impressive rise up the table. It's another baggie at centre-half. Kyle Bartley, who's been outstanding for West Brom over last month. Similar to Darnell Furlong, really. He's been a key man under Carlos Corbran in keeping that defence tight. He's gone under radar when it comes to performances as well. Since Corbran came in, he's been Mr. Dependable this season. He's played a significant role, as I say, helping the baggies to six points. He kept two clean sheets in their last two games. He's a leader as well. And his conf uh, communication and confidence in that back four is really, really useful. Our other centre-back is James Hill of Blackburn. James Hill only came into the Black to Blackburn team at the beginning of October and mainly played as a right-back, but this month he shifted centre-half and has just been a revelation. He produced two sensational performances during the wins against Norwich and Stoke and he even chipped in with a goal in the victory over Birmingham. Only 21. If this is a sign of things to come, then it's been a very promising start to James Hill's Rovers career at centre-half. The left back in this team is Jamilo Collins at Cardiff City. He's been fantastic for Errol Bullet this season. Cruelly robbed last season, of course, of that knee injury, but he's making up for lost time this season. He has been superb. Driving runs and strong defensive displays in the draw against Stoke and the win away at Preston have earned his, uh, have earned his place in this team of the month. And he's finally displacing the terrific reign of Luke Davis at left back as well. So sure, certainly, certainly deserving his place in this team. Our first midfielder in centre mid is Alex Marrott of West Brom. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the redemption arc of Alex Marrott. Last season, he was sent out on loan, unwanted by West Brom. He went to Middlesbrough and barely played there. This season, Carlos Corberan has turned him back into the Alex Marrott, who was tearing it up at Barnsley. He started in all three of West Brom's wins in November and is turning into a key man for the Albion. The next midfielder in this list is Adam Water, 19-year-old Adam Water, just 19 years old, just a teenager. Let's all bear that in mind. Dominating midfield at just 19 years old. He's been a key player for Yondal Thomason this season and he's only getting better. He's put in a series of strong performances throughout November and obviously helped himself to an assist against Birmingham City as well. But his, his composure on the ball against a teenager is incredible. He's got a big future ahead of him and he's fully deserving his place in this team of the month. On the right wing is Adam Armstrong of Southampton. Adam Armstrong hasn't particularly been grabbing the headlines this season, but has still been scoring goals for fun. He's on 10 for the season now, grabbing another two in November and providing two assists as well. Southampton enjoyed a near perfect month, getting three wins and a draw. And a huge part of that is down to Adam Armstrong returning to the brilliant form he showed the last time he was in the championship. The next player in our team of the month is Sorrentio Somerville. Of course, we are shoehorning him in as a new number 10. So if you've got any complaints, send them into second tier. We don't care at gmail.com. We've got to shoehorn him in because he's been absolutely fantastic throughout November, coming into the back of the month after absolutely terrorising Huddersfield at the end of October. And he's been doing the same again. Assists against Plymouth and Swansea and a well-taking goal against Rotherham. Certainly placed in this team of the month. He's an outstanding player to watch. He's exciting and he drives leads forward. Really shouldn't be playing at this level, but we're enjoying him nonetheless. On the left wing is Jaden Philogene of Hull City. What a season this lad 
is having. He's actually having more and more of a claim of being player of the season, the way things are going. He's only had one game in his last 10 where he's not managed a goal or an assist. In November alone, he got three goals and an assist, including a goal of the season contender against Rotherham, where he scored a delicious back heel. His performances have been absolutely scintillating and he seems to be somehow getting even better. And that is extremely promising for Hull, extremely scary for the rest of the championship. It's not a wild guess as to who we've got up front in our team at the month. It's Sammy Schmodix of Blackburn Rovers. An unreal month. Colchester's answer to Team Puku, if you like. He's a leading he's leading in the goal scoring charts this season. He's right in the serving of his place here. A career purple patch is happening this campaign under Thomason. And with six goals in four games in November, including two incredibly delightful chips against Birmingham City to at the end of the month, he's just been fantastic. And I'm looking forward to seeing much, much more of him and how he cracks on and stays consistent throughout the season. And there you have it. That has been our team of the month in the championship for November. Plenty of incredible performers this past month. And hopefully there's more to come as we head towards the festive period in the second tier. But we have been the second tier. We'll be back again on Sunday to give you our podcast episode of us reacting to all the weekend's games this coming weekend. And we look forward to seeing you then. This has been the second tier podcast. I've been Ryan Dilks. I've been Justin Peach. And a big thank you for watching.